Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember last week when we told you that the mystery supporter for TNA was most likely Anthem Sports and Entertainment, the company that owns the Fight Network. Well, the Fight Network released a statement, and from what this statement says, it looks like that is true, and they are the ones that funded TNA's last tapings. They said, and I quote, TNA is a strong property for Fight Network, and as a licensee and global distribution partner, we have a keen interest in seeing the company not only survive, but continue to grow and thrive alongside our own growth. We are hopeful that the company can soon get back to doing what it does best, which is produce great wrestling content. And from everything I'm hearing, the Fight Network is actually putting a lot of money into TNA right now as they want to be able to utilize it on their network. I'm hearing that the Fight Network may be getting the tape library, and that's why WWE is completely out of talks. As of Wednesday, TNA and the Fight Network did sign some sort of a deal, but the deal is actually not well known yet. What we do know is the Fight Network will be the ones to pay back Billy Corgan so the whole thing doesn't go to court. Now, it still can go to court today, but from what I was told, they're looking to try to make a settlement with Corgan so things don't get out of hand. With the Fight Network wanting to invest and put so much money in TNA, they don't want any bad press on TNA. And Billy Corgan, he's known to, when he doesn't get his way, he'll tell anybody and everybody exactly what went down as far as what this could mean for tna i did hear that fight network wants to help this company grow fight network wants to make money off of tna and i don't know if that's possible tna was supposed to pay talent this past weekend it didn't happen and everyone that i talked to was told next week for sure so maybe some of this fight network money is to pay the talent and then maybe when they get the money from their Indian TV deal in January, they can pay some back to the Fight Network. Or they put it into the TV tapings in January. Because TNA did sign up for a full week of tapings in January at Universal Studios in Orlando. So this is all very interesting. It's the fact of Dixie found some other chump, somebody else, to just throw money at her and... If you look at her past and everything she's done, why would you do this? Everybody that she's worked with never got paid, gave them the runaround, thought they were going to get XYZ from her, from the company, and it didn't happen. I mean, look at Billy Corgan. She told Toby Keeley she was going to sell to him, and that fell through. That was a complete washout. So, essentially, Fight Network, why are you putting money into this company when it is nothing more than a money loss i mean dixie's own parents will no longer support tna because as of i want to say between 2010 and 2013 when they slowly stopped providing money to the company they lost upwards of 50 million dollars and said that's it we're not giving you any more money for this company that you can't make money with you can't make a profit we're not going to keep writing checks if any more news does come up on TNA and the relationship with the Fight Network and how this could affect the Billy Corgan lawsuit, we will bring it to you hip on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember guys, comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, and subscribe here on YouTube.